find that it's a, it's a total myth to think that business people are not creative. The, the, the single thing you need to start a business is you need to connect a problem with a solution. Constructing your life is about much more than just building a bank account. Each week, join mindset coach Austin Linney as he interviews guests who are constructing their dream lives and impacting the world around them on a daily basis. If you're an entrepreneur or wanting to start a business, or you just want to hear motivating stories of how others have overcome the odds, you are in the right place. And now for your host, Austin Linney. Guys, welcome back to Construct Your Life. We got my man here, the myth, the legend. Mark in the house. How are you doing, sir? Very good. Thank you. And yourself? I'm good, my man. It is uh, minus six here, and we can't keep the heaters on because they're too old and they're too loud. So I have to uh, do a podcast episode. I have three of them today. Then I have to turn the heater on for 15 minutes, try to thaw out, and then go back in. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that's great that's but it's great. great it's great it keeps it keeps the juices flowing yeah perfect perfect keeps <laughs> you on the edge could you on the edge so what, what what's up man what are you so, um so it's interesting right we um and I, I just interviewed tim about this too one of my buddies um you read a lot of business books and you listen to a lot of business podcasts and you and you love them but after a while it gets really uh the same it just it just feels like it's just the same shit different day yeah uh, i listened to a podcast the other day with the guy that created caa do you know what caa is no what is it CAA. so it's a talent agency that came up with jurassic park and dustin hoffman and robert de niro okay. he was the first guy like okay. the guy like the king brad pitt you name him he had him right all the big names and he was just talking about how they he he loved business he was a he was a bona fide businessman but he understood the art and creativity of his clients and Ah. how sometimes they got sometimes they got stuck and sometimes he had to know when to pressure them to do something they didn't want to do because he knew it was for the best for them but creatively they were stuck yeah like he tells a story about how michael Crichton before jurassic park couldn't write it wasn't writer's block couldn't write for like eight months and they used to have breakfast every week and he said hey he said just give me anything i'll take anything and he goes what do you think about an older man a middle person and a kid being marooned on an island with prehistoric creatures and he goes i'm in he goes i'm in do it he's like he's like go home right now and he said uh four weeks later he came back and had a manuscript and like he wrote it he said gave it to steven spielberg Steven read it in one night. They didn't have a budget or anything, so let's go. And he's like, I just knew I had that director and his vision and this writing. Yeah. We had something. I didn't know what we had, but we had something. And I think that we get very rigid as business people, especially in this uh, productivity hack society that we're living uh-huh. in right now where everything needs to be optimized. Yeah, one, of my and- favorite, one of my favorite things is uh, Kevin Hart's talking to uh, uh, Trevor Nolan. And they're talking about what time they get up, and Trevor gets up at 8 a.m., 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 30. He goes, oh, you're one of those I get up at 4 a.m. Nazis. He's like, I've heard of you. Uh, uh, you know, and they're just like, he's just. <laughs> cold he's shower like, he's, as well. He's, cold like, ice he's, bath. Like, he's like, I know. He's like, I know. I'm useless. He's like, I barely get anything done. He's like, I know. And it's just, it's just, it's just so important because we've taken a lot of the feel out of business. Yes. Hey, listen, for the people that don't know you, I'm, uh, you know, that don't know me, sorry. Uh, I'm Austin's podcast producer. I'm a retired Cirque du Soleil performer. I'm an artistic director. So I work with a lot of very artistically creative people, right? And one thing that I've noticed, man, is there's a lot of common ground between entrepreneurs and creators, mm-hmm. between business people and artists. I actually find myself more at home among business people, maybe because I've I've done what I had to do in the artistic world, maybe. But I find that it's a, it's a total myth to think that business people are not creative. The, the, the single thing you need to start a business is you need to connect a problem with a solution. 
Mm-hmm. That's what mm-hmm. you. Uh, what's a problem? What's a product? A product is a solution to a problem. I don't have shoes. My shoes are dirty. I need new shoes. Therefore, I go to your business buying some new shoes. You solve my problem, right? Mm-hmm. And one thing that I've realized is artists are, are, and creators are, are problem solvers as much as entrepreneurs are. Mm-hmm. Sometimes as a creator, and you know, huh, sometimes we've been working for years, and sometimes I'm telling you, Austin, give me direction. Don't tell me just create something, dude. I get pissed at that. I hate that. Mm-hmm. Because creative people, we cannot create in general. We need some sort of direction. You know, we need mm-hmm. some sort of boundaries. And it's the same thing with entrepreneurs. Same, same, same exact thing. It's a total myth, myth that business people are, are uh, you know, only rational and mathematical and numbers count. No, 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 no. They might not end up on a Sunday night in Ibiza on acid. Okay. Fine, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't either, but, you mm-hmm. know. But they're artists in their soul. Austin, you, you think like an artist. I see mm-hmm. it. When you talk to me, I don't see any difference from when you're asking me for a website than when a juggler asks me to, uh, to create his, his juggling act. It's the same challenge. You would be, you would be impressed to see. It's the, it's the same mechanic. It's the same thing. And what you were pointing out before... Refer to the gut feelings. So, you know, what's happening in creation is you need to be able to, um, to pay attention enough to your gut feeling and trust it, you know. And there's a lot of business people, they just forget to listen to that voice inside of them. It's way easier to go in your brain and think rationally, right, than having that voice inside, that gut feeling inside that tells you to do, you know, certain things or partner up with, so- with, with someone, right? I, th- I think that's where, that's where they become less creative. They're less in contact with their gut feeling, right? So that's what, that's, that might be why I find some sort of, I, f- I find myself at home in marketing and podcast mm-hmm. production because I'm very good at understanding gut feelings, you know? Uh, maybe that's why. So let's, let's, let's unpack another area. People come to me, they want their dreams. They're trying to vision out their business. They're trying to do all those things yeah. when they're coaching. And we spend the first four to six weeks deconstructing because you cannot create your life that you love from survival. It no. doesn't exist. No. So what's the point of even creating the vision? Because the vision that you have is so clouded yeah. by, by survival and, not, and other people's opinions that what's the point of being creative? And, and, and so we have to, they, they, they want to get hired. They want answers to all their questions. But unfortunately, we have to break you down so you can part the clouds so you can then get creative with the vision of your life. I absolutely. Um, and you need to create space for that. Uh, mm-hmm. Thoughts don't come in noise. They come in silence. So mm-hmm. if you don't organize yourself where you, where you are in front of your own self, where there's enough silence so you can speak to your own self, mm-hmm. you're screwed. Even if you work with a coach, even if you work with, with whoever, it doesn't matter. You didn't open the channel of yourself with yourself. And the only way to open this channel is silence. Mm-hmm. That's it. There's nothing mm-hmm. else. It's within silence that you create your idea. And one thing, you know, I was texting you this week about something. I, I, I saw something on, on, on Instagram. I don't remember what it was. It was a simple post saying, creative people need time to do nothing, you know. Mm-hmm. And for myself, okay, you know, I'm a go-getter. I work all the time. It's okay. But I work with creative people. And I ask them to deliver. You know, we produce more than 60, uh, 60 episodes a month of uh, 60 epi- podcast episodes a month. I cannot ask them to be inspired at every single moment of every single podcast episode ever. I cannot. I just can't. There's too much. So how, as the director of this podcast production business, I allow my employee to keep being productive, you know, and giving them time to do nothing while I can still deliver for my clients. That's sort of my challenge right now. It's a new challenge in my business. Very new challenge. But sometimes I tell my graphic designer, I was like, man, like that's, you know, it's, 
it's lacking a little bit and the graphic designer is like dude man that day i had to create like freaking 25 posts i'm so freaking sorry i'm sorry i just did what you asked me and basta that's it the beauty of social media is volume is so important so you know i'm 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 the one that that think it's better to post 20 good enough piece of content than one perfect piece of content you know so volume sort of there's, there's so much there's so favorite. much um i tell you what and it's, it's i could just tell people now like we went from two episodes a week to three episodes a week in the new year and then we're launching a new podcast like i can feel the strain against me yeah. at the moment like okay. right like there's never anxiety before this it was like hey we were fine four interviews a, a month the rants no big deal right but what i what i was talking to ben about today was starting something and already having something going two totally different energies oh, oh. <laughs> and 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 it's so you can you can feel because we started the other podcast so long ago that it's like you know the guests are easy and it's like boom boom yeah. boom 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 there is some there's some magic in that though because when yeah. it when it pushes you and asks more of you new layers like you step up and and you're starting I'm thinking of more creative ways to do stuff and you're not always thinking the same way and you're changing it up so there is a lot there but I you you know I I don't think pressure is a bad thing when it comes to creativity either um oh yeah for sure pressure and p pressure often comes with a paycheck so I'm a, I'm a teacher at the at university here in in Barcelona. I teach uh, I teach acting as uh, out of passion because I think when you when you go all the way and you realize your dream in life, I think it's important that you turn and you help the generation that will replace you. You know, and there's one thing I always tell them. I say, you, wh why do you pay? That's cool. You pay to have the right to do mistakes because mm -hmm. after there's a producer that is gonna pay you so you don't do any mistakes you know and now what's happening with you austin is now you're getting paid to podcast it's very mm -hmm. different mm -hmm. the ball game is very different mm -hmm. how do you pack your episode is very different how do you deliver your episode is ve is very different you have a paycheck someone is sponsored lead hub uh, leadhub.net um mm -hmm. is sponsoring the construct your life podcast every mm -hmm. episode they sponsor it plus we're into a project with them we're going to talk about it in the you know eventually uh we're going to talk about it at this day of the recording i feel i feel like <laughs> dot, dot, dot. stay tuned but now you're entering into hey austin be creative in exchange of a paycheck <gasps> because being creative just for the inspiration and the game anyone can do that this anyway. is easy this is child play but when you're getting paid to design an HVAC logo, you got to find the inspiration. You're not passionate about that, but you got to find something mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. that triggers you, you know? And that's the biggest challenge, the paycheck. You're entering into a new world. You, you, you will get mm -hmm. used to it, and it has a lot to do with your... Um, it will have a lot to do with your self-confidence because it's one thing to yeah. produce it's, and create your own content. It's spotlight versus non-spotlight. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You, know, you can you can perform and you can do whatever's necessary when the nice camera is not bought and mm -hmm. all the money's being it's whatever, right? You're starting yeah. now we're entering a new realm where but you have to also make sure you never lose yourself for sure in in, in your art, right? For sure. Just because you're trying to get kids to paycheck. Yeah, and I think what made the Construct Your Life podcast the success is your consistency regardless of the quality you just did it you did it you started with your stupid webcam and then you you started with this and then that and you just um who was uh, mandy McAllister told me that better done than perfect and mm -hmm. I, I will always remember that from mandy McAllister. always better done than perfect like on social media it's not television on television, there's a full, there's there's a team yeah. that brainstorm. There's there's people that will that brainstorm the script. There's light designers. There's artistic directors, not artistic director. There's more than one. There's creative directors. They exchange idea to create that thirty second ad spot for the Super Bowl, right? 
but this is social media, right? So we can afford, we, we absolutely can afford to do something that is good enough. So you release, you post, it's not perfect, but let's go, man. Let's mm -hmm. go, let's mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. And never feel ashamed of posting something that is imperfect. Because if not, you will never post. And you're the living example of that. You went at, at it. I don't know when this episode would release. Probably, uh, my guess is close to 600 episodes, close to it. Mm -hmm. Maybe by the time we we'll mm -hmm. receive it, a few weeks, I think. Uh, yeah. Dude, 600 episodes. You did it. And now you have a beautiful mic. Now you, now you sound good. Now the image is perfect. Great. I've been bugging you for more than two years with, for that. It's great. <laughs> you finally did it, you know. And now you see, right, the difference. You feel it. Mm -hmm. You feel it. You sound better. You look better. You, it's, mm -hmm. you know. But still, yeah. it's not perfect. Still, it's not perfect. And it's okay. Because it's okay to be imperfect. And mostly in creative stuff. You cannot create in order to be perfect. You will never create anything. I love Ever. It. Guys, let me take a minute to tell you about my buddies over at Lead Hub, Ben and Aaron the best humans I know. Not only are they amazing at marketing for trade companies, but Ben started his HVAC company in his garage, sold it for multi-million dollars. So when this guy talks, I listen. When we took over Deets Mechanical, we had 22 reviews in 22 years. In seven short months, we went from 22 reviews to 107. We went from a 4.2 to a 4.7. We tripled our Facebook presence and we tripled our calls. If you're an HVAC, plumbing, electric, landscaping company, and you're looking for a no BS approach to marketing, you're looking for people who have done it before, you got to go to leadhub.net. Guys, this is my hope to you that if business books or business podcasts aren't doing it for you these days, just take a break, learn about story work, learn about storytelling, yeah. learn about creativity. There's a guy out there called David uh, Perel. Uh, he has an amazing podcast on how to write. And he interviews yeah. amazing people. And I just, I just, you know what I've been doing a lot lately? I've been what? watching, like, my favorite show is, like, Inside the Actor Studio. Mm. I just love it if you've never seen it. Like, it's such, he asks the best questions yeah. ever. And they're, and they're kind of loose. And, yep. like, the one with Dave Chappelle and the one with, like, Brad. Like, he's just, he's really good at what he does. He does it, like, 26 yes. years. And I just love, they go into their history and their life. And it's, it's fun to see somebody on the other side of the camera. Absolutely. Who's used to acting and stuff, write it down. Dooner, they did a great one on him. And I, I find a lot of inspiration from stuff like that. And, and, and I think just, just to finish on that, I think it's important if you're in business, if you're someone that, that you know, you're, you're very rational and all that, don't forget that you're a creator. Don't forget you are, everybody is a creator. You're creating something. Even if you show up to work on a nine to five job that, that that seems to be the bo the most boring thing ever you're still creating every single day breathing is an act of creation you know so put this at the base of your life stop and create 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 just go for it there's wonderful platform just go have fun on canva i told one of my clients today a podcast client i say hey can you please stop redesigning everything can you stop? Just go on Canva and have fun. Just like design your content. Just, just, just do yeah, something you what else. I love doing. You know, I do. Me and Cassie love doing it. We love going on Chat GPT, Dell, and just creating uh, creative pictures of like yes. where we want to live, where we want to yes. go. Like it's that's inspiration. I'm gonna, yes. I'm gonna make a whole book about them. I'm gonna make a, a vision board all about that stuff. And even Austin, if you don't make anything out of it, because life catch up on you. You know mm -hmm. what you have done. You've, you, you've been creating with your fiancé for 30 minutes, an hour. You created stuff. Mm -hmm. How wonderful is that? Yeah. How beautiful. Totally. How romantic is this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love it. What a world we live in. Guys, send this to a friend. Share it around. Yes. Rate us and review us, and we'll see you next time.